for August 11th, the new Dragon Ball Z film, Resurrection F, opened in North America this past Tuesday. It made $3.5 million in its first two days. Cool. And that was uh, the number five biggest movie in North America on Wednesday. Wow. So, yeah. It, was, uh, also, uh, it also earned a bigger uh, per-screen average than any other top ten movie that day. Cool. And it's now in over 1,000 theaters in the United States. Cool. Uh, it's already made more than uh, the earlier Dragon Ball Z film, Battle of the Gods, in its entire theatrical run. <laughs> so it also premiered on more screens in the U.S. than it did in Japan. Mm. Uh, Resurrection F was conceived, written, and characters designed by the series' original creator, uh, Kira uh, Tirayama. Tira? To Toriyama. Toriyama. <laughs> Toriyama. <laughs> uh, it opened in America and with Canada coming soon. Awesome. Glad yeah. to hear it. So uh, also in uh, anime and actually it's like Shonen Jump movie news, uh, Boruto, Naruto the movie, premiered in Japan this past week and made about $5.5 million in its first three days. Wow. And sold over half a million tickets. It's already making more money than any previous Naruto film um, in terms of how much money it's made in the, its first three days versus their first three days. Like with the Dragon Ball Z film, this movie was conceived, written, and characters designed by Naruto creator uh, Masashi Kishimoto. Those who attended the screenings received a fan in one of two designs, and by that I mean literally like cool. a... Um, I think we have a picture down here somewhere of it. Yeah, um, so the, these fans, both designed by Kishimoto, so one of them has um, Naruto and Boruto on it, and the other has Sasuke and Sarada on it. Um, and those who attend also receive a special book that includes an exclusive new one-shot manga by Kishimoto himself, and the story in that is set at the moment when Naruto became Hokage. So, and I, we mentioned this because when you go to anime screenings in Japan, often you get a lot of cool stuff with it, and this is a good example of how they have all these cool giveaways oh, at wow. these. I wish they did that in the U.S. No, that would be neat. no kidding. Pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, Jeff, Jeffrey Wexler mm -hmm. may have just leaked news of a new English dub of a Studio Ghibli film. Cool. Uh, he changed his LinkedIn profile to list himself as English dub producer for only yesterday. Okay, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Studio Ghibli International tweeted that they are on their way to Los Angeles for some kind of recording. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only yesterday was uh, directed by uh, Iso, Iso Taka, Takaha. Takahata. <laughs> Takahata. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, director of Grave of the Fireflies. Mm -hmm. And focuses on a young woman in the city who takes a long trip back to the countryside where she grew up and remembers her childhood in the country. Cool. I, I think, I know Totoro had a dub that wasn't by Disney, but that was before the Disney deal. So this may be the first English dub yeah, since the Disney deal. Oh yeah, and uh, I, I'm I'm curious to to listen to the two different dubs and compare yeah. and contrast them at some point. Totally. Um, so for those curious, so only yesterday is a Studio Ghibli film, not by Hayao Miyazaki. So I believe it it is not part of the Disney deal. Um, so it was licensed separately for its its own release. So, so that, that mm -hmm. Disney deal was the giant box set of Miyazaki yeah. everything. Yeah, exactly. Um, Which and would and all be the great to have <laughs> and all the DVDs and Blu-rays they released. That's all part of that that big deal. Um, you know the the um, over time. And I suppose with Disney, the Disney dub will be the one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. yes. um, so so it, it's cool getting um, uh, dubs of, of of Ghibli films. None of that. And only yesterday is one of those movies that's taken a long time to go over here. Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a lovely film. Feels we, like only yesterday. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, Last, Gap Last Gasp Publishing, excuse me, has launched a Kickstarter to print 4,000 new hardcover copies of the manga Barefoot Gen and have it sent to schools across America. Barefoot Gen is the story of a young boy who lives through the atomic bombing of Hiroshima. So it's a drama. Uh, the Kickstarter is already at $14,000 out of its uh, $36,000 goal with 29 days still to go. Wow. So it's still in its first day. So it's very likely to fund, uh, which means you know you should certainly get in on it because you've you got a good likelihood of that, that working. You can order copies for yourself and copies for school or order copies for yourself, then read them and donate them or order copies just for schools. Uh, 25 bucks gets you one copy, 45, two copies, 75, three copies. And you can order a mix of, you know, volume one, volume two, et cetera, all that. And I think they're just doing the first three volumes uh, total uh, of, of the manga. And they're using the Fred Schott translation that was done uh, quite a while ago. 
Um, so uh, that's going to be out there and available. And um, it is uh, out there on Kickstarter. Search for Barefoot Gen. Barefoot Gen. Let's see. The new Otaku Guide to Tokyo mm. Kickstarter uh, is still stuck at $1 oh. pledge out of the $1,000 goal. Good, darn it. Yeah, the project is a series of video about cool otaku-oriented places in Japan, mm -hmm. like Pokemon Mega Center mm -hmm. and uh, the Naruto and Dragon Ball Z theme parks. Okay. Uh, the project creator hasn't done anything on Kickstarter before, but mm -hmm. he does have two videos on a YouTube channel uh, for you to check out. Okay. Uh, the only backer level is $20, uh, which your name will be mentioned in the credits. Uh, there are no rewards, uh, and there are seven days to go. Okay. Well, we'll have to see what, that hap what happens there. Yeah. It, it is kind of a shame about such things. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, moving on to anime releases for this week. Hmm. Um, I'd actually plan to bring up some stuff about this. We'll, we'll, we'll just talk. Wow. So um, first off is, oh, actually, I'm, I'll edit this out. One second. I'm, I'm that thought sounds I had like a something fun on there. experience. <laughs> so um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to, do you want to go through these? And I'm going to pull them up as we go. Sure. OK, so uh, Pony Canyon USA has a mm -hmm. uh, number of releases here. Uh, the first is Cute High Earth Defense Club Love, uh, Collector's Edition 1. And that's available on Blu-ray and DVD combo, uh, sub only. It's uh, four episodes, one through four, opening theme CD, and a deluxe booklet. Cool. Uh, that's uh, retailing for $72. Nice. And Pony Canyon also has uh, Yuki Yuna is a Hero, Collector's Edition 3. Uh, that's a Blu-ray and DVD combo. Uh, there's four episodes, and that's episodes 9 through 12. Mm -hmm. uh, soundtrack outtakes are included on a CD and a 24-page booklet, and that's running f for about $72. Now, Funimation has Basilisk, uh, the complete collection, uh, Blu-ray, DVD combo, all 24 episodes in audio commentary. Wow. And uh, that's one thing that's really fantastic about mm -hmm. getting a disc is you get that audio commentary. Mm -hmm. So after you've watched it, you can just check out everything. Uh, that combo pack, DVD, Blu-ray combo pack is 30 bucks. That's nice. a pretty reasonable price. Nice. I'm actually seeing it as 33 or so on right stuff, so it might be a little higher some places. Uh, yeah. Um, it depends on Amazon, right stuff, etc. Yeah, there's, o there's always a little variation there in mm -hmm. who you get it from. <laughs> exactly. So let's see. Uh, Media Blasters has Kite Collection on Blu-ray for $15. Not bad at all. Yeah, that's a good price. Uh, Sentai Filmworks has Captain Earth Collection 2 DVD. It's the sub only. Uh, 12 episodes. Episodes number 14 through 25 mm. for $33. Not bad. Uh, Sentai Works, uh, Filmworks also has Captain Earth Collection 2 on Blu-ray. Uh, same sub episodes only, uh, 12 episodes, uh, 24 through 25, <laughs> 24, 14 through 25, sorry. And uh, that's $39 for that. Uh, not bad. Blu-ray, 12 episodes, 40 bucks. Man. Hayaku, Hayaku. Is this, is this the, is this, is this, uh, Hayaku, what, what's Hayaku look like? I pull it up now. Um, um, it is a volleyball cool. anime. Yeah. Uh, Haiku Collection 2 DVD sub only. Uh, mm -hmm. 12 episodes, number uh, 14 through 25 for mm -hmm. $33. They also have a Blu ray version. Uh, same same uh, episodes, 12 episodes, numbers 14 through 25 for $39. Cool. And there's mm -hmm. one more by Sentai Filmworks. It's the Kawaii Com. A complex guide to manners and hostile behavior. <laughs> Complete collection. Now that just in its title sounds a no riotous kidding. there. Now it's all 12 episodes for only $33. I want to see that. That yeah. sounds fun. Because if you've ever done any hosteling, <laughs> you get an interesting group of characters coming sure through there. And uh, everybody's got their own behaviors mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah uh, definitely um yeah so that is yeah 33 bucks for 12 episodes three bucks an episode no not bad on blu-ray on, on dvd sorry on dvd dvd fair enough yeah. cool all right thank you for that thanks to anime news network.com and the dvd talk forums for the links and information to this week news and uh that's it for horizons for this week
Thank you for joining us. Indeed.